Once you have created the phrase, Spring is in the air, as discussed in the Creative Drawings April newsletter, add two flower buds from your Wingding font. With Spring is in the air in the hoop of your Creative Drawing software, go up to the word Tools, and then choose the Insert Symbol tool. Make sure that the Wingding is the proper font. Scroll down until you see several little flower buds. Choose the flower bud where the bud is on the left and the curl goes up. Simply click on that and click Insert. Come into your work area and click and drag until the size of the bud is approximately 1.7 to 1.8 centimeters and the angle is around zero. It doesn't have to be exact, just so it's close. And then let go. Close the insert, window, insert symbol window and then let's change the color of our wingding. Want to choose a pretty yellow, make sure that you're using the bottom right corner to change the main portion of your wingding and then come down to the bottom of your thread palette toolbar. I want to get rid of the outlines so again here's that X box choose the upper left corner to remove your outline and left click. Now that you have one wingding it's very simple with it highlighted, go ahead and click Duplicate, Mirror X or Mirror Across the Axis, and once that's mirrored you can really see it. Go ahead and move that to the left hand side of the word Error. Now remember it's easy to align different pieces, either designs or letters, with your creative drawing software. Simply go ahead and come in and left click and drag a box around all the pieces that you wish to align. Now I didn't quite catch that top part of my little bud, my right bud, so I'm going to click and drag again until I get that highlighted. Once you have several pieces highlighted, all your alignment tools become active. This time we want to align the centers horizontally so that the rosebuds or the little buds will be horizontally across from the word air. You may wish to try align top, align horizontally, and then align bottom. Actually align bottom is what we want to choose and you can see that your buds are aligned perfectly with the bottom of the word air. I'm going to go ahead and select these again and I'm going to choose the equal horizontal spacing. What that will do is that will make sure that the bud on the left and the bud on the right are the exact same distance from the bottom of the letters right here. Now remember in the newsletter we talked about grouping the word air. Make sure that air is grouped all together and you can do that by right clicking and just making sure that group is not, you're not able to highlight that. So just make sure that the word air is grouped together. So let's select everything again and now we're going to equally horizontal space and left click. Notice how it just moved the word air over just a little bit to make sure these were all aligned. So once we have that done we want to make sure everything is aligned again in the center. Let's go ahead and select everything, Control A. When I do the align centers vertically, watch what happens. Uh oh, the buds actually jumped right to the center. The reason why was because they were individual pieces. They weren't part of the letter air and they weren't grouped together. So let's do a quick undo. To prevent this, if this ever happens to you, go ahead and again select everything that you want to be one piece. So we actually want to make this all one piece when we're doing aligning. Do a right click and group it all together. Now when we do a control A on the keyboard, 
and use the align centers vertically, everything remains in the same line because it was the air and the buds, we grouped them together so they were looked at as one piece. Grouping is a wonderful thing to work with when you're working with your creative drawing software and the alignment tools. We hope you had fun making this little phrase and learned about your alignment tools in your creative drawing software.